Well, hello there, and thanks for joining Uncomplicated Math today. Today we're going to be looking at how to multiply a mixed number by a whole number. And by the end of this video, you'll know the steps involved when multiplying a mixed number by a whole number. So let's get started. So in question number one, we're being asked to multiply the mixed number two and one third by five. So looking over to the right hand side here under our steps involved, we can see that our first step is to convert our mixed number to an improper fraction. And if you're unsure of how to convert a mixed number to an improper fraction, or if you find that you're unsure and maybe need a little refresher on any of the processes that we're doing in this video, then I encourage you to pause this video and take a look at some of the video links in the description below where we break down these processes into a lot more detail. So returning back to question number one, we need to convert this mixed number to an improper fraction. And to do this, first we're gonna multiply the value of our denominator by the value of our whole number. So we're gonna multiply three times two, which we know gives us six, and then we're gonna add on the remaining one part for our numerator. And when we add six plus one, we get seven for seven thirds. Now we're gonna move on to step number two, where we're gonna rewrite our whole number as a fraction. And to do this, our whole number is gonna be our numerator, and we're gonna give this fraction a denominator of one, because five over one has the same value as five just written as five. Five over one represents five whole groups of one. So now we can move on to step number three, where we're gonna multiply our fractions. So first we're gonna multiply our numerators. And when we multiply seven times five, we get 35. And now we're gonna multiply our denominators. And when we multiply three times one, we get three. So now we're gonna move on to step number four, where we're gonna simplify the fraction. And in brackets, we see the term when needed. So if you're not being asked to simplify the fraction, then don't feel that you have to. But in this case, we're gonna simplify these fractions so that we can see what this process would look like. So we can see here that we have an improper fraction because the value of our numerator is greater than the value of our denominator. So in order to convert this improper fraction to a mixed number, we're gonna divide the value of our numerator, 35, by the value of our denominator of three. So now we're gonna work through the division steps from left to right. And we know that we can make one group of three out of three, so we're gonna write a one up top, and then we're gonna to move to our next division step, which is to multiply. And when we multiply one times three, we get three, and then we're gonna subtract. And when we take away three from three, we're left with zero. Now we're gonna bring down the digit immediately to the right of the place that we've just divided, so we're gonna bring down our five, and then we're gonna repeat the division steps but this time we're gonna think how many groups of three can we make out of five? Well, we know that we can make one group of three out of five, so we're gonna write a one above the five, and then we're gonna move on to our next division step, which is to multiply, and we already know that one times three gives us three, and then we're gonna subtract three from five, which is gonna leave us with two. And since we don't have any more numbers to bring down, we're done with this division problem, we just have a remainder of two. So we're gonna record that up top by writing an R and then putting the two beside it. So when we divide 35 by three, we get 11 with a remainder of two. So now we're gonna write our mixed number. So we could make 11 whole groups of three out of 35. So our whole number for our mixed number is gonna be 11. The denominator hasn't changed, it's still in thirds. So we're gonna write our denominator of three and our numerator is the remainder. So we had two remaining parts, so we're gonna write the two up top for 11 and two thirds. So when we multiply two and one third times five, we get 11 and two thirds. So now we're gonna move on to question number two, where this time we're being asked to multiply the mixed number five and one half times four. So remembering our first step is to convert our mixed number to an improper fraction, so we're gonna multiply our denominator by the value of our whole number. And when we multiply two times five, we get 10, then we need to add on the numerator, and 10 plus one gives us 11 for 11 halves. And now we're gonna move on to step number two where we're gonna rewrite our whole number as a fraction. So just like we did in the first problem, we're gonna make our numerator four and we're gonna give the denominator a value of one. So now we can move on to step number three where we're gonna multiply these fractions. So we're gonna start out by multiplying our numerators and 11 times four gives us 44 and one times two for our denominators gives us two. 
So now we're going to move on to step number four, where we're going to simplify the fraction. So we'll remember from earlier that to simplify this fraction, we're going to divide the value of our numerator, which is 44, by the value of our denominator, which in this case is 2. So working through the division steps, we need to think, how many groups of 2 can I make out of 4? Well, I know that I can make two groups of 2 out of 4, so I'm going to write the 2 up top, and then I'm going to multiply. And when I multiply 2 times 2, we get 4. Then we're going to take away 4 from 4, which is going to leave us with 0. And then we're going to drop down the digit that's immediately to the right of the place that we've just divided. And then we're going to repeat the division steps, except this time we're thinking, how many groups of 2 can I make out of 4? Well, we already know that we can make two whole groups of 2 out of 4. So we're going to rate our 2 up top, and then we're going to work through the rest of our division steps. And we know that when we multiply 2 times 2, we get 4. And when we take away 4 from 4, we're left with 0. So in this case, we don't actually have to write a mixed number because we don't have any remainders. When we divide 44 by 2, we get the whole number of 22. So when we multiply 5 and 1 half times 4, we get the whole number of 22. So hopefully by now you understand the steps involved when multiplying a mixed number by a whole number. Help make math less complicated by smashing those like and subscribe buttons. As always, enjoy today's math journey.